Okay, today we're going to talk about our favorite triceps exercises. First up is the lying tricep extension, and this is usually done on an easy curl bar. Could use a straight bar if you want to. A lot of people call this a skull crusher. We don't because we go, as you can see, past the skull. The position matters here in order to do that. You want the shoulders even with the edge of the bench. You're going to begin in a similar position to the bench press. You're going to bend the elbows first, then the shoulders on the way down. Big stretch on the triceps in the bottom, and on the way up, it's the opposite. Shoulders first, then elbows. On the way down, elbows first, then shoulders. Way up, shoulders first, then elbows. At the top, you're gonna stop when the arm is vertical. Second, maybe my favorite all-time tricep exercise is the rolling dumbbell extension. This really might be my favorite of all time. I understand a lot of people don't have access to dumbbells or they may have to make big jumps in weight, but you can use adjustable dumbbells and dumbbell fractional plates. It'll make this more accessible for those of you who train at home. Similar to the line tricep extension, you can think of this movement as lowering and raising in two parts. First, bend the elbows and then flex the shoulders to finish. So again, that's elbows first on the way down, then shoulders on the way up, shoulders and then elbows. Now, to finish this movement, you bring it up to 90 degrees and no further, just like you would on the dumbbells in a bench press. Third favorite exercise is the tricep pushdown. Now, this one requires a pulley system, and you can see that I'm using my lat pull down in this video, but you could actually now, easier and cheaper, you can just add a pulley system to your power rack and do these. If you're in a bigger gym, you go to a public gym, you almost certainly have access to this movement. Similar to the other movements on the way down, it would be shoulders first, then elbows. On the way up, it's elbows and then shoulders. Want a big stretch at the top and want to make sure that the elbows are completely locked out at the bottom, right? Now, similar, you can do this at home with a banded tricep pushdown. So it's the exact same movement, but we're just going to use bands. and We're going to loop over a band over the pull-up bar. And to make it easier or harder, you can walk your hands up or down the band in order to create more or less tension on the band. Same movement as the cable tricep pushdown with the elbows bending first on the way up and then shoulders and on the way down, shoulders and then elbows. Now dips, probably the biggest compound movement here on this video. So unlike the other lifts listed, this is Definitely more of a compound lift that trains not just the triceps, but the pecs, the deltoids, a lot of the entire upper body. It's a great upper body pushing accessory or supplemental exercise that will help drive up your bench press and your press. You'll lean forward on the way down. Most people don't do this. You wanna make sure you lower just deep enough so that the shoulder passes the elbow on the way down. So it's gotta basically break parallel, similar to a squat and then fire back up to full lockout. We always wanna control the eccentric portion, slow on the way down, fast on the way up. And you can load these by adding a dip belt or even putting chains around your neck. If you wanna explore other supplemental accessory lifts to help get you stronger, just click the link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, and we'll see you next time.